The Audio Technica ATH M50X is the Bluetooth successor of the most beloved M50s. It looks and feels premium with a unique ring design, even with its plastic build. It has a Audio Technica branding on the top. On the sides, it comes with a Bluetooth toggle switch, a micro USB charging port, a headphone jack, and volume control keys, which can be used as media playback buttons. It comes with oval shaped super plush ear cups that have no issues with long headphone sessions. It feels very comfortable to wear with many adjustable lengths to fit any head size. The sound profile is rich with the main focus on vocals since it being a studio recording headphone. Sony XM3, the rival for the Audio Technica, is a much more sophisticated headphone. It looks extremely premium with the sleek gold accents splashed all over it. It comes in slightly smaller ear cups but are equally soft as the Audio Technica. It also supports NFC, unlike the other headphone in the comparison. It comes in this hard carrying case, which is an added bonus. It has a Type C fast charging port, a headphone jack power button and an active noise cancelling button. It has more emphasis on bass which is preferred by most people who use their headphones for just listening to songs and watching movies. The active noise cancellation is very good and it makes the headphone an easy pick if you travel a lot on flights. These two headphones are really good for the price, but are targeted towards completely different audience. So which one should you buy? So if you are a bass lover and consider yourself somewhat of an audiophile, the rich sound profile of the Sony XM3 would do you justice. But if you are more into recording and sound production, or just prefer pure vocals over bass, then the Audio Technica would be a better option for you. Hope this review was helpful in making your purchase decision. Until then, see you all in the next one.